how are we doing today rhino nation uh yeah so we, yeah we're gonna be back here with a another legacy league and we're playing some rhinos as we are often want to do i haven't been playing it a ton i have been trying out like the questing rug and the rug beanstalk a bit i haven't been playing that much rhinos but we'll get back into it here and you know hopefully beat some people down with spirit guides so uh, you know without any further ado let's do it okay and i guess just a note on this deck is we are playing one main deck blood moon maybe you've seen me run two in the past i think the cheese value of blood moon is worth it i mean it's another way to win the game for three mana but i think two in the main deck is maybe too many so yeah we're gonna try one well here's a hand where i wish that i had a mana source but uh we don't Okay. Well, it's the old. If Lorien Revealed was a real mana, we'd be happy. But the opponent's mulligan also is the good news. Okay. Well, this is a turn one, so I guess we'll keep that. And I think I'm going to put back the dual lands. Dark Ritual from the opponent. Another Dark Ritual. Well, that's all pretty worrying, huh? Wishclaw Talisman. Lion's Eye Diamond. They're going to do the Echo. Well, we have a Force of Will now. Here's an LP. Opal. Maybe we'll get to cheese something with Force of Will here and manage to win this game. Well, it's another Wish Claw Talisman from the opponent. I don't really think I can afford to force this. We're going to use Wish Claw Talisman, the first one. We now control a Wish Claw Talisman. We'll play Lion's Eye Diamond. Veil of Summer. I'd say they about have the wind chalked up here. I don't really see the point in forcing this. I mean, I guess unless they're going for another Echo of Eons. Well, I guess they are. Chrome Ox, Imprinting Galvanic Relay, LED, Burning Wish. Okay, now they can get Tendrils. And there they are. Okay. Well, I think we can board in Force of Vigor and Hull Breacher here. I mean, I think they do play the guy as well. Okay, well, this is a. Uh... Like the most recent version of the Epic Storm, I believe. I don't think it... Oh, there is Guy as well. Okay. Well, it's pretty easy to board out Minsk and Boo. Blood Moon is probably not the way. Brazen Borrower, not that exciting. I guess Fire and Ice is not as exciting as it could be either. We're getting low on blue cards, but this is why we bring in... Uh... Well, that's why we have Hull Breachers and why we have the Seagate Restorations and Lorien Reveals. They're not just so we can, you know, mulligan to five. All right, I'll give this a shot. Hang on, let's just sort by color while we have a minute left in sideboarding. Okay, we still have 20 blue cards. I think I'll have to give it a shot. Okay, so we're going first, and we have a Wooded Foothills, Lorien Revealed Hand, Hull Breacher, and Forest and stuff, so... I mean, I'd say it's close enough. Opponent's mulligan to, to five. Well, I guess we're going to like fetch Tropical Island here. Lorien revealed for Volcanic Island or vice versa. And I could get a uh, Batega. Maybe I'll do that. It seems like we should have plenty of blue. And we'll get, grab a Tropical here. Okay. So we draw Crashing Footfalls. That's not the most exciting. I guess I'll play the Tropical Island. And suspend Crashing Footfalls. We're looking at Pitching Violent Outburst to Force of Vigor here. I mean, we could always hardcast the Violent Outburst if they do nothing, but... Uh, yeah. 
See, if only I had the Hull Breacher in play. I mean, I could force this and hope... Uh, I think that'd be pretty dumb. Okay. Force the Brainstorm. Okay, looks like they're going to pass the turn here. See our Rhino stack here. Shardless Agent. Um, that's not a bad one. So yeah, we'll play Seagate untapped. And we're holding up a bunch of stuff. Dark Ritual from the opponent. Okay. A Thoughtseize. So I guess I let this resolve. So they take Force, play Dark Ritual. I guess they've probably got it here then. But I suppose, like, maybe I should have just forced the Dark Ritual. The LED, there's Burning Wish. Guess I'm not sure what they're going to wish for exactly. Mind's Desire makes sense. All right, what are we uh, desiring into here? Maybe they'll only hit Echo as a potential payoff. Uh, okay. Maybe Hall Breacher will do some work here. They don't have any cards in hand, so I think they have to play the Echo, an Opal. We still have the Force of Vigor. I guess it doesn't matter too much. They don't have any cards in hand. Okay, well, here's where I play the Hull Breacher. Do they have... I don't think they have anything else, right? I mean, they don't have any cards in hand, so I think we should be okay from here. Okay, well, uh, Hull Breacher brought us back from uh, death there. All right, so I think Force of Vigor is actually not that exciting. And that Blood Moon seems like it might be okay. Brazen Borrower, I think. I mean, I think I can do, make do with the two Crashing Footfalls in the deck. Okay, we naturally have one of the Crashing Footfalls in hand. But we also have, like, a bunch of forces and an Endurance. It's kind of a tough decision, but if I Simeon Spear guide out the Crashing Footfalls, the Endurance really doesn't do anything. Having a handful of forces, it's not that great, because we can just force Veil of Summer once, and then we don't really have anything else. Um, I think I'm, I'm okay mulliganing. I think this hand does seem better. So I'm happy about that. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to put back a forest here. Okay, they're going to Bloodstain Mire and pass, it would seem. Simeon Spirit Guide. So we can get the Hull Breacher down next turn. All right, so the opponent uh, played Bloodstained Mire. It's cracking a Mire. Playing a Veil of Summer. Dang. Uh, I think I should just let it resolve. I mean, forcing it seems pointless. So they're probably going to Echo. I guess maybe it would have been worth forcing it because uh, of the Echo. There's a Burning Wish. I'm a little rusty here. Well, uh, yeah, we, we fetched the wrong land, so I can't play Blood Moon. So, uh, yeah, that was rough. Maybe we'll get another turn somehow. All right, the opponent's playing Dark Ritual. I guess I'll allow it. Right of Flame. Lotus Petal. Lotus Petal. Ox Opal. The Echo of Aeons. 
Well, I guess I'm going to try to force it. And well, that resolved. Okay, they're passing the turn here. <laughs> so this turn I get to play Blood Moon. I gotta, I gotta slow down and think about what I'm doing here more. They're tapping for a green in response. Do they have Abrupt Decay as their last card? They do, wow. Okay. Well, at least they're down to one card here. I'm gonna play Tropical Island. Well, it's gonna be the Endurance Beatdown. I mean, I could Lorien Revealed, but they only have one card in hand. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna play the Endurance, do the stuff to their graveyard. Okay. Going to attack. And I'll pay the three life. Yep. Okay, well, we have more endur endurances in store here. The opponent just passes it back. Violent outburst. That's a potentially good one. So yeah, we can put them on dead next turn. Um, so I'm just not gonna play anything now because yeah, it's endurance and then a uh, pair of rhinos and this game's done and I don't want them to know that they're dead. The opponent's playing Wishclaw Talisman. And a Chrome Mox. Is there something I can do with Brazen Borrower here? I mean, not really. They're gonna have a few mana. Lion's Eye Diamond. Well, they sure have all the cards they need. I think it'll be pretty tough to win here. Wow, they just have the perfect. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so they seem to be going for uh, Ein's Desire Line, it would seem. Yeah, and I just can't do anything about it. Mine's desire for five. Come on, no whammies. One more. Okay, I think we're in the clear. Well, they're playing out the Dark Ritual. I guess there's no reason not to. Okay. All right. Well, um, let's play Endurance, huh? And make sure we can still play Violent Outburst afterwards. Looks like we'll be able to do that. Okay. Okay, well, the game one was, uh, sketchy as it could be, but we'll just, uh, Mino move on to round two here. So this is the old, I have Crashing Flitfalls and Force, and if I hit two lands, I'm in okay shape. I guess one land would let us be using the Petty Theft. So it looks like our opponent has played Teamer Cascade in the past, and that's all I'm seeing for Legacy. Well, in the mirror, I mean, we do have Force of Will and some kind of aggression, and if we eventually draw lands, we'll be jamming more threats. Versus a random six where we could be jamming a fast violent outburst. I think it's okay to mulligan. Well, we're just not uh yeah. <laughs> we're not doing great today on the on the hands. Deck that is half mana. Put back Blood Moon. And Minskin Boo. Okay. Well it certainly happened where I've mulliganed to four or five and still one. I don't really know if the the double force hand is better than the crashing footfalls. Uh, force hand. 
I mean, this does have two Force of Wills, but we're pretty incentivized to use this uh, Lorien Revealed. Ooh, a Savannah. Crashing Footfalls. Okay. They're probably splashing Ardent Plea or something like that. I think I'm going to be icing them. Ice is on the stack. You get resolved. You drew Violent Outburst. We just got to draw land. That counts. So I think against uh, another, you know, deck like this one, we can just do it on their upkeep. We could do it now. I guess that's fine. At least I can't get hit with like mystical dispute here. You know, assuming I force them and they mystical dispute back. Uh, what we're talking about. I think I'm gonna pitch ice and hope to blue draw a blue card. At some point here. You get a Xander's land. So they're probably playing uh, the Ley Line Binding. Regardless Agent, okay? All right. So yeah, they've got the Shard list. That's certainly good for them. Oh, well, we drew the blue card. Um, I guess I'm gonna, I mean, it seems like things can get worse if I don't attack. Okay. All right, so we trade off the rhinos there. They get in for two. So those rhinos are coming down soon. They are obviously playing the Ardent Plea. Violent Outburst, sure. Yeah, it's in. Maybe we'll draw land. We do. The Crashing Footfalls is about to come down, though, sadly. And we're not going to be able to force it. Uh, we do have one Crashing Footfalls left in our deck. Upside. Well, I guess I have to trade... They just pass it back after the attack. Seagate Restoration. Not super exciting. I guess I'm going to put the Seagate Restoration into play tapped. Opponent sacks Misty on my end step. All right, they're going to do some attacking. I'll do some blocking. We'll take eight. Simeon Spirit Guide. Well, that doesn't really do it. I guess I can play it. I don't think that this is going to be a Simeon Spirit Guide beatdown, unfortunately. I don't think that chumping for two is going to help me here. I 
I'll just take it, I guess. I suppose, like, Violent Outburst here would be my best draw. Brazen Borrower, so I can bounce a Rhino, and then lose. Okay. So Blood Moon looks like it could actually potentially do something against them, but I think Endurance is not bad, though. It, it can shuffle our Rhinos back into our deck. And it could be a Battle of Attrition. Probably better than trying to Blood Moon the opponent. I mean, I'm probably better under Blood Moon than they are, but they could just go like Spirit Guide, Spirit Guide, Violent Outburst. I think I'll just play the one Endurance, and uh, we'll call it good. Okay, well this is a Crashing Footfall, Suspend kind of hand. It's pretty slow. But I think I'll give it a shot. Alright, Woody pass from the opponent. Well, these are like the worst possible draws. I'm getting punished for playing like an idiot against the uh, TES deck and still winning. So my punishment is horrendous draws. Guess I could have mulliganed. I guess I should have suspended both crashing footballs. I, I don't, we're just so hopelessly far behind. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna be icing their Xander's Lounge on their upkeep. That much I know. I guess we're going to get a Violent Outburst here. Alright, they get their own Crashing Footfalls. Well, maybe I actually just do want to ice their Crashing Footfalls. Um, yeah, see, these Cascaders just don't do anything anymore. Because all of mine are in exile. I'm drawn to a Cascader. Take four. Okay, well, I'm not dead yet. Okay, well, we start getting Rhinos next turn. All right, Petty Theft is a one that does something. We'll pass through our turn, and we're going to Petty Theft on their upkeep. Unless they have another Violent Outburst right here. Looks like they have something. Okay, Lorien Revealed. So if I use the Brazen Borrow right now, they have to pitch a blue card to Force of Negation. I guess I'd rather they tap out for Force of Negation. If they're gonna use it. This thing does make blue, right? Yep. All right, they're getting in for four. And uh, our slow suspense finally start happening. So we got Orion revealed. Okay. Well, they might have a force of will for this one, but what about the one afterwards? Okay, well, it resolved. That's pretty surprising. Regardless, sorry, a uh, force negation in hand. I mean, it's, it's better than, uh, I mean, that could be good. Happy about that. All right, so maybe we can force something here on our opponent's turn and keep resolving these crashing footballs. 
Everyone's tapping some mana here. It's an Arden plea. Okay, well, we're gonna force for sure. Okay, well, somehow they haven't drawn any counter magic. They're going to attack for five. Okay. Uh, I don't think I need to chump block here. We'll be getting more crashing footfalls. Yeah, reinforcements. If this crashing footfall somehow doesn't resolve, then I will um, not attack with my shardless agent. Okay, another rhino's on the stack here. Force negation's probably the best draw. Okay, I'll take it. All right, well, I guess, see, I guess this hand was actually good somehow. Leyline binding. Do I want to force this? I think we can accept this. My plan is to force the thing on their turn that matters. Uh, double block their Rhino token. I, mean, I guess Leyline Binding could be good there. They just used one here. Well, I'll just have to hope this Force Negation can see me through. And then, like, Violent Outburst for the win. Is it another Art and Plea? Elvish Spirit Guide. Okay, well, that, that I can accept. If they just do nothing, then this Brazen Barber on the end step is good news. Ooh, they're forcing. So I think Violent Outburst can win this game. Definitely going to attack with everything. Don't want to go to 5 life because they're Arden Plea. Okay, yeah, so Violent Outburst just wins the game here. Okay. Alright, do I want to do anything different? I mean, Blood Moon could still be better than Endurance. I think Blood Moon on the play would have been the time to do it if I was going to do it. It really could hose them, though. All right, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try the one of Blood Moon. I mean, that card could just win the game by itself when they're not expecting it. All right, well, we're going to get to try it out here. I mean, here, Blood Moon seems a lot better than Endurance. We're getting, like, Force... Their attempts to win the game. And then play Blood Moon and hope it's good enough. Okay, well, Crashing Footfalls is really not a bad draw there. Okay, we're passing through our turn. The opponent's mistying on my end step. And they're going to get a Xander's Lounge. Okay, they're just going to pass through their turn, so I don't know if it's going to be Violent Outburst on my upkeep. It looks like it is. Yeah, I can't do anything about it, sadly. Can not ice some Rhinos on their turn? About it, though. Okay. I'm going to ice a Rhino token on their upkeep. All right, we draw another land. The opponent suspends crashing footfalls. Gets in for four. 
Um, yeah, I really need like a cascader here. It would be sweet. Simeon Spirit Guide. So I go to eight next turn. I, I guess I'm, I guess. I did it again. <laughs> Where the tropical island doesn't play Blood Moon. I guess I'll just hold up Force and Negation and pass through this turn is what I'm going to do. And, you know, I guess I will be alive in a few turns here. Uh, when uh, Crashing Foot falls. I should have blockers. I mean, I go down to, you know... Oh, no, wait, no, I'll be dead. Oh, silly. Going to six. Yeah, Cascader, Violent Outburst. Oh. Yeah, we're just dead. They just have to attack. Well. I mean, I, I could have played Blood Moon there, but yeah, it's not going to matter. I suppose Endurance would have bought a turn here, technically. So I guess Endurance would have been better than Blood Moon. Okay. All right. That hand, I guess, I don't know. I mean, Blood Moon looked okay. It had some ice. We ripped the rhinos. But, you know, they had the violent outburst. If it was art and plea or anything else, it would have been okay, but it wasn't good enough. Um, maybe Blood Moon was just more of a trap there than anything else. I don't know. All right, well, this is another one of those hands. All right, I think this hand just does too little on the draw and, you know, is a free mulligan, so let's not be silly. Okay. So I can put back Braze and Borrower here. Or I could put back, like, a Simeon Spirit Guide. Um... That'll be like the turn two violent outburst. I think I'm just going to put back the brazen borrower and hope that my violent outbursts here are uh, going to get the job done. Okay. Burdened catacombs into tropical island into delighted halfling. Well, we're going to have the turn one and turn two here. Yep. Um. I mean, what are the chances they actually have the force of negation? Yeah, so I guess I'll just do it now. And I think the, I think the basic forest is fine. See, if they untap, they just get to brainstorm in response. Okay, they didn't play Teferi on their first main phase. So that's something. I guess they probably have the one ring. Playline binding, okay. That'll take out one of my rhinos. I think this kind of matchup yeah, is pretty rough. Right, well, here's an answer for their delighted halfling. I guess I'll, I'll I'll attack first. Okay, they won't get to write uh, the one ring immediately, but Teferi here just bounces my rhino and then completely blanks what we're trying to do. So we got to fade Teferi. There's the land. Here's a fetch. The land. And there's Teferi. Yeah. So they bounce their rhino. It's the doom and gloom here. You can't play this brazen borrower. You can play petty theft, but you don't have the other blue. And you have violent outburst will be stymied by the Teferi.
I'm not sure they're doing something here, but they upticked on to Fairy. Okay. Well, they drew a land. So we can hard cast Brazen Borrower here. I guess I can hard cast Simeon Spirit Guide. Well, here's some Spirit Guide beatdown. They do have to, like, weigh some kind of answer on this if they want to keep Teferi around. It looks like it's going to be... Oh, yeah, the old instant speed Green Sun Zenith for Uro. Sure is. Put a Misty into play. Plus Teferi. Okay, they're going to play Slow Gurk. Get some plus one, plus one counters on it. It looks like it's mostly just a 3-3 three, three that grows. If I petty theft it, they get to life from the loam. Okay. Well, that'll block uh, Simeon Spear Guide, huh? Well, Minskin Boo is a good draw. I think the best thing I could do here is just play the Brazen Borrower. I could Petty Theft the Slow Gurk, then attack to Fairy down to one, and then they just play Slow Gurk again. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to play the Brazen Borrower. And, like, maybe we get to play Minsk next turn. Maybe, maybe they'll use Teferi on one of my boys here. All right, end of turn fetch. Pump up the Slowgurk. Bowmasters. Well, that uh invalidates the whole Brazen Borrower strat. And the good news is that Blood Moon's going to be good against them. So they tick up onto Teferi. They attack here, and yeah, I mean, I can maybe get Minskin Boo going, I draw a land. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna scoop it up here. So I'm thinking about, I wanna bring in Endurance. Just a question of how many violent outbursts. I mean, I think ideally I would only board out two. I think the brazen borrowers are expendable. I guess I could trim a fire and ice, but I do want to be able to kill delighted halfling. Maybe I'll bring in two endurance. I mean, the thing is that brazen borrower is an answer to Uro. I guess Endurance and Blood Moon are too. I think it'll have to do. But I don't think you can like trim Force Negation against the Fairy deck. Maybe I could just trim a Crashing Footfalls for another Endurance. Okay. Well, I didn't get to do it, but I think that would have been okay. All right, turn two, Shardless. I'll take it. All right, so it's going to be my plan to fetch a basic island here. Uh, we're going to save Lorien Reveal this for Fow. You'll turn one, Delighted Halfling. Yeah, I mean, that's not going to be my fight where we have the uh, Shardless Agent here. Get the island. Okay, and I guess I'll get the Tega here. I can play Endurance. But I won't have double blue, but I guess it doesn't matter anyway because they're Delighted Halfling. I'm not going to get to like Force Negation anything, probably. Um, yeah. Well... I guess Lorien Revealed. I wouldn't want to not be able to cast Lorien Revealed. So I guess I'll just get 
volcanic island here and then use yeah, simian spirit guide or elvish spirit guide to pay for the green okay so yeah we uh have crashing footfalls here all right well it's in surgical extraction on my rhinos I'm not really gonna get to force what else they do so i, I guess i'm forcing this All right, well, they're brainstorming. They're not instantly Teferi-ing. Right, they get a Taiga, they got a green. What do we got here? And uh, two mana life moon, Sylvan Library, up the Beanstalk. I guess the best rip here would be Blood Moon, eh? That would be sick. Green Sun for one. So another Halfling, I would imagine. Yep. Simeon Spirit Guide. It's kind of a question as to whether I'd ha rather have this spirit guide in play or get closer to Lorien revealed. I guess with them at 10 life, I already know what it is. They play the one ring here. Uh, all right, I think with them at 10 life, I'm just going to keep the, the guys that I have. If they play the one ring here, I really want to draw another land and then jam Lorien revealed. All right, well, they're not immediately the one ringing. Seems like we have a lot of good draws. Land, Blood Moon, Durance, suppose a Cascader. Here comes an Uro. Oh, it's Slogurk. And they have a land. Okay. Um, I guess I'm gonna use this time to Island Cycle. We aren't going to be casting any uh, Lorien Revealed, it would, it would seem. Yep, and they'll have to block with Slogurk. I guess they, w they would have been dead, huh? They get to return lands, but it doesn't matter too much. All right, well, they brainstormed last term. You'd think they would have played the One Ring if that was something they could have done. Hopefully with them at one life in our board here, we get to do, we get to attack for the win. Well, they do concede, so there's a W. All right, maybe we can win this game on the draw. So I am going to cut the Crashing Footfalls for the Endurance. And maybe instead of Fire and Ice, I should just play the Furies. on the draw here. Not like I can answer, or answer Delighted Halfling for until like turn two anyway. Okay, we're gonna try our crazy rug midrange pile. Crossing my fingers here, we're gonna get like a, a normal, like a good seven or a good six. Well, this looks like an okay seven. I don't know how good Fury's going to be here. They did not turn one the Delighted Halfling. We have the Force of Negation. We have the Endurance. Uh, okay, well, there's a Mana Source. So we'll be doing something here on the next turn cycle. They're going to do nothing. So it's probably Misty Rainforest on my opponent's turn. Oh, there's Blood Moon. So juicy. I think I have to Violent Outburst with Simeon Spirit Guide, though. With Force Negation pitching Shardless back up. And they'll probably go to play, uh, like, Teferi here, and then we'll do this in response. They're just going to pass the turn, though. That's smart of them. I could get Forest Volcanic and do the thing. Hope that we get another mana source here. Yeah, another mana source would be sweet, huh? 
But this time, if they want a surgical, my uh, crashing footfalls, I'll let them. Uh, the crashing footfalls resolves. Another surgical. Yeah, they got a savanna there. What does this mean? Three man swords to plowshares, sure. Swords to plowshares, sure. Not get there on the land. All right, they're just passing it back, so land would still be like a great draw. They're tapping and untapping over there. Slowgurk. Yeah, they can have Slowgurk. When we land. Okay, well, I'm gonna do the endurance trick. And I'll keep my crashing footfalls, thank you. Land. Okay, that's a land. They have two cards in hand over there. Would like to pay three life. Um, I guess I'll just play the Shardless Agent. They can get this thing up to 4-4 four, four next turn. Or I could play the Blood Moon and potentially just lose to their Slow Gurk. I'm just going to jam Shardless Agent here while the getting's good. See, I meant to... I, <laughs> I only have two Crashing Footfalls in my deck. Uh, which means, thankfully, I'm not going to draw them, but I, I did mean to board out more Violent Outbursts. All right. We'll see what happens here. So they just pass through their turn without doing anything. Surgical on my crashing footfalls. Uh, at this point, I mean, maybe I don't care. Yeah, I'm just gonna play Blood Moon this turn. All right, what's the draw gonna be? Do we have something else here? Like blue card, okay, land, that's not terrible. It doesn't really matter if I play this first or not. So I'm gonna play it first and see what the shenanigan is. Like this doesn't have, a, we already have the basic forest is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so they have a leyline binding. They're gonna take it out on my Rhino. Interesting that they're not gonna let Leyline Binding, they could be like taking out the Leyline Binding, right? Or just floating the mana. So I guess they fear the Rhino beatdown is what that would imply. Okay, they are gonna block with Slowgurk. I'm really happy to have that off the board. Okay, they get to get their Mountain back. Okay. Yeah, they play a, a mountain. Like a blue card or a land. Okay. Pack for six. Um, I could keep Blood and Moon in hand as like a card to pitch to Fury. Uh, this does protect us against like a Hydro Blast though off the top. Tapping some manas. Okay, looks like they're doing nothing. Durance. Okay, well we have them at two. All right, that wins the match.
Okay, we're on the play for round three. Um, so a crashing foot falls, backed up by other stuff, a spirit guide, like a Minskin boo. I think that this hand has to be acceptable. Um, do I want to fetch a basic forest here? Uh, I think I will. All right, let's get in there. All right, the opponent uh, misties and sacks it. All right, looks like we're up against... Oh, more rhinos. Well, some rhino mirror action, okay. So we can at least petty theft a rhino on their upkeep. Unless we draw, like... Regardless agent or violent outburst. Did not. But we'll have a Minskin Boo next turn. And yeah, we're gonna Petty Theft this turn. Yeah, we are at least playing one more Brazen Borrower than most lists. A Wasteland. Well, I wasn't expecting that one. Okay. Um, yeah, Wasteland. Well, we'll get to ice the rhino at least to buy some time. Ooh, a Shardless Agent. Okay, well, I'll just jam Shardless Agent. All right. Is Crashing Footfalls resolving here? Looks like it is. Passing it back to the opponent. No suspicious attacks. Well, I could attack with everything here. If they try to like block the shardless agent with a rhino, I can fire the rhino. If they trade shardless agent with my shardless agent, I'll fire their shardless agent. Okay, so I am gonna fire their agent. Okay, that works. Got uh, six more power on board. They could just be playing another Cascader here. But we do have our own Rhino reinforcements coming in. Wow, they conceded, okay. Well, at least I don't have to worry about like wanting to bring in Blood Moon, because I don't. And probably a Fury can replace that. Do I want another copy of Fury? I mean, Fire and Ice isn't the most exciting. Maybe I'll play two copies of Fury. I mean, Brazen Borrower is a lot better than Fire and Ice, so maybe two copies of Fire and Ice is fine. All right. All right, well, this hand is not quick, but it does have, like, Ice. It just needs its third mana, and then it really takes off. It's like a slow hand. It's not my favorite kind of hand, but the opponent's already mulligan to six here. Okay, they didn't instantly destroy me. Force of Will's a great draw. Okay, they're going to... Volcanic Island here, it's Encycle Lorien revealed. It all makes sense. Grab a Tropical. It looks like they're passing the turn, so we can just hit that third mana source. That will be key. We do have ice to try to find it. If they just do nothing here, it'll be an easy decision to ice them in their upkeep. Okay. 
It's a violent outburst. Maybe they have force and negation. They're doing this on my upkeep. It would be wise to do it on my upkeep either way. We, this ice could be really important to buy time, so I'm going to pitch a shardless agent. They do have force and negation, so they have two rhinos. Fury. I'll go ahead and Fury right now. And then I'm going to ice the other Rhino on their upkeep. And then hope to hit uh, my third land drop. And if we can yeah, get to our third and fourth land drops here, we'll be cooking. Because there are one Rhino and one card in hand. Okay, there's, a, there's our third land. Alright, so they just passed through their turn. There's the fourth land. I guess I'll get the forest right now. Just make sure I avoid a Blood Moon Catastrophe. Okay, do they have another Force of Negation? They do have the Force. Um, but at least we'll be getting this Minskin Boo into play next turn. So that should be good. That friggin' Wasteland! <laughs> Doing more work than they know. Maybe they do know, and that's why they're playing it. Okay. Simeon Spirit Guide off the top. I mean, another... Or any old mana source, really. Okay, well, that's a good one. Well, this is going to be what we call like a savage beating. Okay, the opponent says wow and uh, scoops it up there. Um, yep. Okay, we're on the play for round five. And we have a turn one violent outburst with force back, back up on their upkeep. Sounds good to me. Leyline of the Void. Well, that's not going to do anything. Um, uh, I could get the Tega here. That should make playing Violent Outburst easier, but maybe just Tropical Island's a smart thing to do in case I draw Crashing Flip Falls. All right, the footfalls resolves. I mean, a ley line of the void deck is not a force of the will deck, so I mean, maybe it's better to wait for them to. Now they get to take their turn here without, you know, knowing that I'm trying to beat them down with some rhino token, and so it might have been smart to wait there, where it's obviously not a blue deck. The vault of whispers, and a pass. Okay. Pack for eight. So I could keep the Lorien revealed in hand. I guess it's not very likely. Well, no, this protects me from Thoughtseize. Because uh, then I still have Force Backup if I get Thoughtseized once. Um, whereas if I could play the Lorien revealed and get a land. And then we could be Violent Outbursting. Next turn, if I do draw a land, but I think probably the Thought Seize Protection, or Grief Protection for that matter, has to be more important. Now they're playing a Dark Ritual. I could force that. I'm going to hope they're going for Shieldred, or something that I can force. Right, there is a Besiege the Mirror. Well, I guess I can let them get the card and then force that, right? All right, it is the Helm of Obedience. 
I will force a negation, and I guess I'll pitch the Lorien Revealed here. Okay, they'll scoop it up. So I think I'm just going to board out Fire and Ice for Force of Vigor. I'll need Blood Moon to Brazen Bower Borrower to counter or to balance Shieldred probably at some point. That is the one thing they can do is play Shieldred. I'm sure they play Urza Saga too. Hmm. I mean, Brazen Borrower is good against Saga, but so is Force and Negation. Maybe I'll just board out a Lorien Revealed here and bring in the Force of Vigor. All right, let's try that. All right, well, the opponent's keeping on seven. This is the old hand that doesn't really do anything. I mean, I can get Lorien Revealed going eventually. Well, this has some stuff going on. So I'll put back a Force of Vigor. Okay. Well, there's the Saga. Okay, that's a pretty good one. Pitch to force a will. Well, let's get these Rhinos suspended. If I get a forest, my opponent will think I'm going to play Blood Moon on them. Maybe I should be doing... Um, I don't, I think I'm gonna, yeah, just give them a turn with the Force of Vigor, see how it goes. I could Force of Vigor now. So they're gonna get the one artifact. Like, probably I want them to use Ancient Tomb a couple times. Okay, well, that's a good draw. Kind of precludes me from using Force of Vigor if I crank out these Rhinos here, huh? Maybe I can afford to wait a turn. So I'll just let them have the one Rhino token, and I won't let them have the search. They get to make a rhino end on my end step here. Then they can have another rhino. This way they can't get like LED. And their Rhino should be smaller than my Shardless Agent, unless they get a bunch more artifacts in play. Force of Vigor resolves. They have Summoning Stick Construct token. Okay, and they're passing the turn. And we have our suspended Rhinos coming too. I'm gonna get Volcanic Island here. I think I guess I could have been smart about playing around opposition agent there. Um, okay. Well, I'm going to play this untapped and be violent outbursting and saving the regardless agent for force of will. I guess that was a pretty good draw there. They're playing a dark ritual. I'm just going to force the thing that they do. It seems like it worked last time. I guess if they play grief... I could just Violent Outburst in response. Beseech the Mirror, sacrificing their token. Yeah, I guess I'm going to force the thing they get with Beseech the Mirror, which I expect will be the One Ring. Fieldred. Okay, well, I'm going to force that also. Okay, now we get to do this end of turn, Violent Outburst. Yeah, get those rhinos in.
Okay, well, it's going to be everybody's favorite. I mean, I suppose they could draw a bunch of things, including the one ring on their turn. But we at least have a pretty big board position. All right, the opponent is tapping stuff over there. They're using their, uh, their Tomb of Yogmoth. What do we got? Five mana spell. I don't think this card was bargained, right? Or no, they must have. Did they sacrifice Vault of Whispers? Oh, that must be what happened. Okay. Okay, so what are we getting here? The One Ring? Yeah. Um, so this will buy them a little time. So, I mean, yeah, they could get back in the game here. But at least we have a um, giant army waiting to kill them next turn if they don't. Like, if they one ring into the one ring, they'll be in, in shape here to, uh, yeah. But otherwise... We go to seven. Do they have the one ring again? I take the bird in. Okay, well, they're playing Chrome Mox. Imprinting Orcish Bow Bowmasters. Dark Ritual. Harn the Great Creator. Dang, so this is going to be able to get um, the, uh, the Ensnaring Bridge. They will be at five and then taking two from the One Ring on their upkeep. Maybe I'll draw Brazen Borrower. Oh, we do get to attack, though, with Elvish Spirit Guide. Oh, no, they had Dark Ritual. <laughs> oh, no. All right, well, Brazen Borrower off the top. Simeon Spirit Guide. So I guess I am going to be keeping that in hand in case I draw... Um... Minskin Boo, that, that would win the game. As well as Brazen Borrower. Uh, like if they just get Mike and Silth Lattice here, they'll be taking more damage. So I don't know if they have a, the One Ring in Exile. Or their sideboard, I suppose, is what it would have to be. To replace the one they have in play. Yeah, so if they use one of these Ancient Tombs for two mana... They have four mana, though, which is probably enough to do whatever they want to do. Except for the Mike and Self Lattice. Oh, and they do have four cards in hand. Because they used Karn the Great Creator. So, I don't know. They really need to replace the One Ring this turn, is what I would say. Alright, well, Chrome Mox will go a long way towards... Uh, making uh, this Ensnaring Bridge work. Dark Ritual. Okay, they just had all the manas anyway. So are they going to get the Mike and Sylph Lattice? They are going to take three. Playline of the Void. Okay. Okay, now they can just probably get uh, the Helm for the win here. Alright, well, you know, that'll happen. They got it for Xaxes here. Olivia one life. Oh, I guess they'll be at three life. Okay. Okay, so I think I just will take out Fire and Ice for some Blood Moons. And if they get friggin' Shieldred in play, it's gonna be unfortunate. But we'll have three copies of Brazen Barwer and like. Can boo, try to get over the top of that. Can't really see what else I might cut here. You can't cut Force of Vigor or Brazen Borrower against the Ensnaring Bridge deck. The two Blood Moons is probably fine on top of everything. Alright, try to get it on the play here. 
Well, it doesn't seem like my opponent's playing a lot of discard. This hand has like Force of Wills, which will buy time in this Brazen Borrower. Force of Vigor, which would probably be good eventually. But it doesn't actually do anything this hand. All right, I think this is a big grudging mulligan here. Okay, and this is gonna be a begrudging keep. There's nothing I really wanna put back is the only thing about this hand. I do want the Minskin Boo as a payoff. Maybe it just has to be force and negation. Okay. Opponent's playing a chalice on zero. Well, we have a Minskin Boo hand, so I think I'm gonna try not to sweat it. They at least can't play their own stuff that costs zero. Okay, this Scalding Tarn's a good draw here. We don't need to use Lorien Revealed. Lorien Revealed, I wanna pitch to force, being the thing. So I'm going to hope that we draw Spirit Guide here. Well, would you look at that? Simeon Spirit Guide doing just what it's supposed to here. Or I mean Minskin Boot. Okay, so they get to make a 2-2, a 3-3, two, two, three, three, and then a 4-4. Four, four. Well, I guess this Boo is just staying on defense here. And we'll try to use Brazen Borrower to keep us in the game. If they can only get their construct token up to four or four, we're in a really good spot. If that's not the case. We're we're in a rough spot. They have like Vault of Whispers. It's stupid good. Oh, okay. Well, there's a Chrome. But yeah, it's still only at four or four here. Okay, another Saga. Not a catastrophe yet. Botsies. Fuck. Well, I guess I'm gonna force this, huh? And be trying to win the game. Hope they don't have another artifact here. It looks like they, they don't. Yeah, we'll make this trade. Okay. So we'll get in there with Boo. I think we're in an okay spot now. Unless they do something else crazy. <laughs> but at least we have this Brazen Borrower. They get to make a token here and they can attack my Boo. But yeah, hopefully that will run them out of options here. So they played a chalice for zero. That doesn't help them. All right, they're attacking for three. So I'm probably just gonna like let this happen. They're gonna have a real problem with this boo token here. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm just gonna want to keep plussing the boo anyway. I'm just inclined to let this, this let this happen. Okay, they're playing Karn the Grey Creator here. Guess I have to let it happen. But what are they gonna get? I think I'm gonna be able to get them here because I can just play Brazen Borrower in attack mode. And then juice the boo up to seven. Yeah, they have Ensnaring Bridge. But I think I just get to attack for the win here. 
I mean, they could have like snuff out. No, they can't because they don't even have swamp in play. Okay. Okay, well, you can see there that I'm like a little out of practice. Um, I don't know, I guess being wildly technically proficient, uh, I, I do the best that I can, okay? Uh, we didn't really get to beat anyone down with Simeon Spirit Guide. But uh, yeah, I guess no one's playing Tempo, and so, I mean, you'd think Halfling Control would be a worse matchup for this deck. But I mean, the well, the, the Halfling into Teferi Hand is unbeatable. But if that doesn't happen, it seems to go okay. And, you know, Blood Moon did work there. Yeah, the three Blood Moons in the sideboard. I don't know if I've really played with just like three Blood Moons. Maybe a few times. Uh, well, I guess we have one in the main deck. Yeah, so this was the list we run. And I, I forgot to mention that I didn't wasn't playing Inevitable Betrayal. Hull Breacher is kind of good against Show and Tell, and I suppose does something against Reanimator, stopping Gristlebrand and Faithless Looting. Uh, I tend to regret having Inevitable Betrayal in my sideboard. I, I guess the one Blood Moon spot in the main deck, I mean, it saved a sideboard spot. Uh, so it could be like an Endurance or something. And man, I, don't, I just don't know about Lorien Revealed, I guess. Sometimes it's nice and consistent having all these blue cards but i mean maybe seagate restoration is is just better the lorian revealed seems good maybe i'll go up to a third seagate restoration and try that um okay well we'll leave it there uh yeah there's some exciting rhino action we're back in the rhino saddle and uh yeah uh, we'll see you next time